Hi everyone, this is Angel Wings Tarot, back giving you another reading. Today I would like to ask, who is next coming into your life, okay? And I'm going to ask you to pick a crystal. We have the Rainbow Pyramid, or we have the stone that's being colored in with a pen. And it's got hearts on it, so that's nice. So, whichever one you feel you resonate with the most, okay? This is going to be pile number one, and that's going to be pile number two, the heart stone, okay? Boom and boom. Let's start with pile number one, and let's see who is coming into your life. Since it's a rainbow and it's a pyramid, okay, I'm getting past life vibes and a spiritual connection. You may have known this person through various lifetimes, you know, like the spiral going around and around. Or you may have had a kind of turbulent relationship with this person. You and this person may be going around and around for many years, you know, it can be different for everybody. But let's just start getting some oracles and see who is Pile One's person that is going to come into their life soon. What can we know about them? Who is Pile One's person and Ox Fudge? Just one, please. Benefactor, awesome. Grace and generosity. So this person that is coming into your life is someone that is destined to help you. They will be a benefactor. Interesting, we have lost compass, getting back to integrity on the back there. It is reverse, so maybe you're feeling a little bit lost right now, and this person is really going to come in, be a really good benefactor, and help you to get more into alignment, because there's something to do with alignment. Coming through for you guys with the pyramid and the spirals and all the colors, so I do feel this person that is next due to come into your life, and I feel they're going to come in very soon because we have the number three and we're in the third month. So you could be hearing from this person pretty soon. Um, within the next three weeks, three days. <laughs> so yes, um, let's get some more energy. I definitely feel they're going to help you. They could help you build something, you know, like with this pyramid, it's like you start from the bottom and then you get all the way to the top. Um, so you and this person, I feel you're going to transcend something together. You could be work partners. Whoa. Um, perseverance and forgiveness has come out. Very interesting. So you might already know this person. You got music there on the back. An effort, number 13. This person wants to make effort towards you. You might know this person. You might have, um, signs, messages through music. You could be a musician or they could be a musician. It could be something to look out for. Definitely. So that could be something, if you know someone and they're quite musical, this may be for you. Um, yeah. Okay. You, for, for forgiveness coming out and perseverance, it's like, did this person upset you? Is that what this is about? Let's get some astrology. Angels, pile one person who is next coming into their life. What can we know? We also have the number 96, so I feel like we have air coming out here. Open-mindedness, objectivity, and learning. So it could be an air sign, or you guys could have a really, like, a good friendship, a good intellectual, um, like, back and forth. What I can't even think right now, but you have a good way of communicating is what I'm picking up on. Look, Jupiter, they're going to help you grow and expand. So if you're building something, if you have a business, if you have something in your life, you could, it could be a home, it could be anything, you know, you are creating something and this person is going to help you create it. With this air energy, it's like great minds think alike. That's what I'm getting. And Jupiter, it's like mega expansion. So I feel like someone has noticed you. Um, they want to help you put in work put effort into something so that's quite exciting um yeah let's get one of these cards angels pile one's person who is coming into their life next who is coming into their life and what who is it who is it the crone awesome and the empress yay because you guys are the empress <laughs> i love okay the crone and the empress. This is really interesting energy. One sec, guys. I need some coffee. Okay. I'm going to tell you this. You have the crone. This person that's coming in is... They're going to be wise. They're going to be knowledgeable, right? They have something to give you because look in her hand. She has this 
spiral stone so perhaps there's a message in this like heart spiral stone um for you as well there is something there's a message coming through about making something bigger this crone is going to come and bestow some sort of wisdom on wisdom wisdom onto the empress here okay that's what i'm picking up and with love and all of the rest of it you will build something something's going to come out of this relationship that's going to be long term be definitely getting these business vibes but um <clears throat> with forgiveness and perseverance there could be a message there like someone wants forgiveness you know i want to get one of these archetypes see if we can get any more juicy information who's next to come into pile one's life who's next to come into pile one's life the animal the animal the sustainer okay so this person i feel again they could be very creative they're gonna help you to sustain and to build something there's a lot of creative power that i'm feeling with that energy so business partners perhaps someone that's quite ruthless you know look at this eye here it's like you know you can um you tell it how it is, you get the job done, you know what it is that needs to be done. Very logical, very quick thinking. Air energy again, like boom, 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 boom. Um, I'm getting that. Okay. Now, what are they going to do? I want to see, like, who is this person? What are they going to do? What angels? What is this person going to bring to pile one? Yeah, look, star. This star, this person is going to work with you to build something you're creating. Or you, are, you will create, like, this energy... It's going to help you grow, like in whatever field you are in. And I'm also feeling that you could work really nicely with this person, like you will have a good flow. And it will be a kind of um, business partnership, I'm getting that. Interestingly, we have the reverse Queen of Swords, so I want to know like why is that reverse? Um, this person could be quite like cold cutting, again like ruthless. They might help to show you how to kind of stand up against people like this within your life. Offer you some kind of protection from people that want to swindle. But let's see, can we clarify this Queen of Swords reverse angels? Yeah, it's the Four of Swords. This person, there might be like... um people in your life that this person is going to be able to help you deal with them they might help help you to kind of like remove yourself from work situations for example maybe you're tied to something or someone this person's going to help you to remove yourself and again we've got the four of wands here that just fell on the floor so we've got two fours a lot of prosperity and abundance they will help you to create your own abundance with four of wands four of swords it's like not only will this person like help you to heal and I feel like just understand certain things like they might show you that not everything needs to be taken very personally like there's a very it's like what it's a mindset they're gonna give you some sort of mindset air energy lots of air coming out as well it's like they're going to change your perspective they might even bring out some of these more ruthless traits within you, like the animal. Like, you're going to access a more um, volatile, I'm hearing, <laughs> part of you, which is rooted in your own creativity, your own wisdom. Remember, this is a benefactor. So this is someone that is going to benefit your life. They're going to um, give you something good. So I don't see anything bad with that energy. Cutting away from toxic environments, friends, lovers, people energies cleansing you know and then starting up you know this new thing you might have some new ideas that you share with this person and you're both you know as you can see the mirrored energy one 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 you're both kind of committed to manifesting this pyramid for example right this person could be older than you they could be an air sign um they could be an aquarius we have that what else angels the chariot reversed here interesting why is the chariot reversed so for some of you i feel like you'll be breaking away from some things you've been doing too long you might have been in a work for like a hell of a long time yeah seven of pentacles has come out i feel like some of you guys have been working in an industry in a 
something for so long. This person's going to help you to break away. Look, Ten of Swords on the back. A complete full stop to whatever it is that you have been persevering with that you're not happy with. Like, this person's going to help you to see you have more options. You don't need to pull all your um, seeds in this freaking um, basket. You can put them here and do this. Or you can put them here and this is going to be the result, you know? King of Wands. Awesome. Powerful leader. Like... Definitely, this person could be a leader. I'm getting a lot of work energies with this pile. So I feel the next person that's coming into your life, they're going to be focused on helping you. There's something you need to cut away from. And they're going to give you the kind of empowerment you need and the knowledge to do it. With the Queen of Swords reversed as well, this could be, yeah, look, Tower. <sighs> tower, right? So you're breaking away. Yeah, yeah. Four of Cups reversed, Two of Pentacles. I feel you've been sitting on something for a while, for a long time, right? Um, this could be you stuck in a job that you don't like, you stuck in a relationship you don't like. Apply it to your own life. Um, and you've been deliberating, is it this way, is it that way? And you've not been satisfied, you've not had the knowledge, not had the wisdom. And this person is going to help you to pull down old ways, old systems of being, right? They're going to help you to see the truth about what it is you want to pursue in this world, right? So this is like, I feel as well with the four of wands being in the middle, this person could act kind of like a mirror to you. So in a sense, you'll be able to learn so much about yourself through them. And this is going to give you the strength you need to go through these tower moments or to pull a specific tower down in order to build this new pyramid, right? This four of wands, beautiful rainbow pyramid that is full of success, prosperity, abundance. You know, it's it's richness in every form of the word. So that's what I'm picking out there. For some of you guys, you could have a spiritual career or a spiritual path. You could be very spiritual in nature. So I think that this person sees that within you and they want to um, expand it. Okay, oh, six of cups. So you may already know this person. They could be someone from your past, someone from your childhood. It could be a reconciliation type thing. And the Six of Swords reverse. Someone is coming back to you. Someone is coming back to you. This could be a love message now. An emperor. Oh my god, an emperor is coming. We have a match. Emperor, empress. Guys, you have a strong individual that's going to empower you. The next steps you take in your life are going to be very big power moves. And you're going to need a very big support on your side and you're gonna have you're gonna have it i see a lot of kind of thinking new ideas inspiration you know you i feel are this person's muse and they want to come towards you they see a lot no way is it no i thought i, <laughs> I seen the emperor and empress here but i do see a lot of good things here so that's awesome this is something that's coming back around. It's an opportunity and it's going to be up to you if you want to take it or not, okay? Let's see if we can get you any last um, guidance before moving on to pile number two. Boom, boom, boom. All right. What does pile number one need to know about this energy, please, angels? About the person that's coming into their life. You may need to forgive them, okay? I'm seeing that. That's why it's kind of interesting. You got abundance. Wow, you guys are lucky. This is awesome. Abundance. You guys have a lot of that coming towards you. And serenity, bliss, you know, peace. Uh, and with this crow here, I also feel there's an element to this that's all divinely guided. You got new beginnings and you got surrender and release. So like we said, this person will help you to surrender something over to the divine. I'm getting that to help you focus as well on your life's goals, life's work. I'm hearing magnum opus. You're great to work. <laughs> I also feel you guys will create some sort of great work, right? I'm seeing throat chakra energies. I'm also seeing heart chakra. So this is beautiful because I feel like you will have a very pure communication with this person. Answered prayer. They are literally an answered prayer. So you need to know, guys, trust that this is your answered prayer and it's coming because the next person coming into your life is to really help set you on track and to put you kind of like on the path of this beautiful abundance this beautiful gift that's been wrapped for you and it's been waiting for you to acknowledge it and 
and walk the path. So I see that coming in. Awesome. I hope you enjoyed the message. If you did, feel free to like, comment, subscribe. I always appreciate it. And I'll see you guys next time. Okay, thank you. Bye. Hello, palm number two. If you pick this spiral heart stone, I'm so happy to see you and welcome to your reading. Okay, so let's just pop this here. First of all, third eye, blue, heart, spirals. Okay, something I'm getting that is mysterious, something that is... um. You know intuitively, right? You feel this intuitively. You, you you might feel this person intuitively kind of coming into your life. Dreams, I'm hearing dreams. So you might dream of this person. This might be something, someone that you have been recently having thoughts of. So if you've come here with a person in mind, like, I want to know who's coming in. Maybe it's this person. I've been thinking of them a lot recently. I'm seeing that, like, pay attention to your thoughts, your intuition, things that you hear. Um... You might have known, you might have spoke with this person a lot, like through, um, like technology, like social medias and things like this. I'm getting a communication energy, but anyway, let's see what comes out. So, yeah, who is coming in? And also, stone. This person could be very hard to read. They could also be like um, cold or stoic, like a stone. They're difficult to get inside. You know what I mean? They show what they want to show when they want to show it i'm also getting a mask because this stone has been colored in right so it was not um it's not just being a stone it's being a fancy stone love it okay look we got three falling time to replenish empty well damn see it's like the stone energy it's like this person what i'm getting is they have a lot of emotion but it's kind of deep inside of them you know what i mean deep deep inside <laughs> and um yeah oh i'm getting a lot okay teachability hollow bone you may have learned a lot through this person with this person and also possibility for union sky bridge okay so this could be a spiritual soulmate twin flame connection take it how it resonates i'm not gonna confirm or deny i'm just gonna read the cards <laughs> and on the back you have in the hand the universe is your partner okay so this is interesting i, I am getting like a soulmate energy me, oh okay so let me just move these cards up with the hearts and the possibility for union and the teachability like i do see this is someone you have learned a lot through like this person has definitely been here sharing spiritual lessons with you right so let's see you've had to go through this connection you had to replenish yourself there may have been a lot of um lessons that took it out of you it was like well this is difficult right you had to kind of break down some stones within your heart <laughs> or this person that's coming in they're gonna help you to do that right the queen i love okay and the forest i'm getting like a journey in my head like you had to go through this forest you had to go through this darkness in order to find your crown, to find your castle, to find, you know, your peace, okay? So that's the energy I'm taking so far. This person coming into your life, um, you may have been through a lot with them, because I am picking up, like, that energy, past energies. Teaching each other lessons, hollow bone, hollow stone, it's like... There's nothing inside. Empty, hollow, empty, hollow, stone. Oh my god. Ugh. What is this energy? Who is coming into Pal 2's life? Spirituality, number 77. And change. Oh man, you guys are going through it. So, let's see. You've been going through a lot of spiritual lessons. The angels want you to be aware. I'm sure you already are. I feel like you are now at a very critical turning point. You know, you're going to be coming into union with this person very soon because you've obviously completed some kind of phase, maybe finding your own individuality. Your own individuality is your natural queen energy, you know? So now that your energy is heightened, you're apparently aligning with people that are going to replenish you. So like I'm feeling your soul tribe. Expect changes and also you can google 577 for a angel number message 477 as well 
four seven 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 as well. Five seven 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 and four seven seven seven. Oh my goodness. And let's get more energies. So any signs? Any signs? Yep. Thank you. A lot of signs apparently. Feel this person recognizing your worth. They maybe want to teach you something. And spiritual teacher, like, is this person a healer? Are they a spiritual teacher? They could do um, spiritual practices like tarot, divination, anything like that. Who is this person? Angel, Saturn, Capricorn. Ooh. What I am getting is the lessons you've been learning have been very, very difficult. Oh my god, this has not been an easy path to union for you. You have Yang energy, which is masculine energy. So we have Capricorn. I'm going to get one more, like... I'm, I'm interested. This is like harsh. <laughs> oh my god, what is this? Fire. Okay, so Leo Sag and yeah, Jupiter on the back, just like pile one. So this person definitely has been a huge um, instigation for growth in your life, okay? They could be a fire sign, or you might just have a very fiery and passionate relationship with this person or when they come in but i feel a spiritual connection for sure with all the sevens here and the cards that have fallen out so you might be meeting like a king literally <laughs> if you are the energy of the queen or you could have a queen coming into your life it's a regal energy oh i love it you got the bear so protection okay i feel like a protecting energy from that and the dark moon okay so there is going to be some sort of big change 13 moons underneath that beautiful maybe the 13th could be an important um date for you um yeah interesting okay let's get into the tarot see what else i feel like the bear this person is they want to protect you i mean look, look at the beautiful imagery it's like this woman just kind of cuddling these bears and you have the illuminated full moon. You have two full moons. There's a lot of repeated, um, wow, there's a lot of full moons here, actually. There's four. There's five. Okay, so five weeks, potentially, but also just um, full moons. We're in a full moon right now. It could be significant. Nine of Pentacles reversed there with the four of Pentacles. Okay. I feel like this person... Well, they may have not wanted to, they don't want to let you go. Like I'm getting that type of energy, like clingy, codependent. They want to build or create something with you. Yeah, eight of swords reversed. Eight and a nine here. So something is very close to happening in this connection. This person is coming into your life. But I feel like they've made up their mind that they do want to move towards you because they don't like to see you standing alone or standing in your power. I feel they've broken away. There's been a huge karmic lesson for this person, a huge karmic cycle. I'm feeling that with the teachability card and this one. Um, and I feel the message here is like this person is now... They may have been stuck in some really bad codependent or karmic cycles right they freed themselves selves from okay that's what i'm getting yeah lovers reversed with the knight of cups reversed i always get like love spells with that energy you have the six of pentacles upright it's like someone was giving and giving um you see how this knight like look how the knight looks kind of drunk and sad and he's got this cup in his hand and it's intoxication it always gives me that energy knights are very dreamy they can be easily influenced you know and i feel like this energy that's coming in they in the past were very easy to influence but i'm seeing now that there's some sort of protection covering this person or they are now stronger they are breaking away from Toxic love spells, love cycles within their lives that were confusing them, causing them to be like, I, I don't know which way is up. Why is this energy coming through? So this could be an ex-partner for you. Take it how it resonates. What is this energy? 
But yeah, lovers reverse. This person could have cheated on you. They could have been unfaithful. They could have led you on, I'm hearing as well. Why are they coming? This could have been a huge spiritual lesson to teach you your own self-worth, okay? With the queen energies there. It's like underlying. You were learning the lesson that you couldn't give any more than what you were giving and this person wasn't giving anything at all okay i'm seeing that they didn't want to they were scared about losing out missing out on things and giving their power away giving their power away was something they were very afraid to do um but actually i see you here with a lot of power now so that's interesting page of cups reversed these are all reversals interesting so i feel there's hidden feelings or repressed feelings, but let's see, why is it reversed? What's going on with this energy? Who's coming in? Everything is reversed. <laughs> so I do see that they made up their mind or they have clarity over some sort of emotions that they had, right? They were, this person was clearly confused about something. But this is a spiritual connection, so. And I do feel with that energy of Saturn, it was like, damn this is gonna hurt but you need to learn this lesson and there's a rebirth happening with the energy of fire who is coming into paul two's life someone you can work with eight of pentacles okay divine timing is at play as well hmm. yeah this person walked away from you and now they're walking back crazy how things work out isn't it why have i fudged up the cards oh my goodness okay fixed 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 but they have love you see they they're walking back to you because they love you and they actually want to work on a relationship with you let's see what other energies the four of cups reversed yeah a spell i'm getting a big like a spell has been broken an illusion has fallen for this person judgment you know this person has been receiving harsh judgment, especially with the energy of Saturn. You see the angels blowing the trumpet. They're letting um, you know that, you know, this person, if they hurt you or whatever the situation was, there has been a huge rebirth happening for this person, also for yourself. They've had to really go within and understand that how they were treating you or how they were treating others was just not it. It just was not it yet. Look. <laughs> Four of Swords, Seven of Swords. This person was a cheat. They were manipulative. They were hiding. They were all the rest of it. And the universe put them in a timeout and was like, nope. You don't get to do that. <laughs> or at least not anymore. So now they want to come in and clean things up. There was some sort of split. But now it's like this person is really drawn to you because you love yourself. Because you put the energy into yourself. And this is, with all these illuminated full moons, this is shining. This is a truth that is glowing from within for, for this person. This is like, I can no longer hide from my feelings. But you have the King of Swords reversed here. They're con currently in a kind of mental conflict, injustice over what they did. What did they do, angels? I want to know. I'm curious about this energy. What did they do specifically to pile number two? I feel like very cold, you know, with that stone in the heart, like their heart was made of stone, you know? Three of Cups. This person could have cheated on you. They could have had you in a third party situation. They could have been out living the best life and sleeping with whoever, putting you in some kind of health as well. They could have, um, oh no, they could have hurt your health. You have strength there with the Four of Swords. Fuck's sake. Oh no. For some of you, they could have hurt your health. Oh crap, right. Angels, what did this person do <laughs> for pile number two? What did this person do? I'm too many, but I see I, the same fucking cards. Okay, let's give it a good shuffle. <sighs> okay, they definitely hurt you a lot. I'm seeing that they rejected your offer. They didn't show you love. What do we need to know about this person? They sacrificed you. Don't drink my coffee. Thank you. <laughs> they sacrificed you for a third party. 
Hierophant. Okay, so this is some they weren't listening to their higher self either. And I feel they got into a serious commitment with could have been like a younger air sign, for example, or just someone that was more immature. What did this person do? And they hid their their true selves, their true identity from you with the sun reversed and the hierophant. And surprise, surprise, the four of swords reversed with the page of cups. I feel like yeah, they kind of just allowed you to go into maybe a depression or whatever you were struggling and they went off to basically live their best life being uh what do you call it a player knight of wands energy you yeah, have the ace of pentacles reversed here this could be they gave you something you know they could have given you i don't know apply it to your own life how you see fit but not something that wasn't good <clears throat> something bad 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 but this person apparently wants to come in and offer you what do they want to offer is it love? like they clearly have love i'm seeing they want to work on things they want to resolve something they want to be honest about something they know that they were not being nice you have listening here they want to listen to you hear you out or they may want um you to hear them out okay so what does this person want angels an guardian angel reversed here okay so maybe they feel like you are their guardian angel or, or you are someone very special and they want to be within your life i'm also seeing like they could have divine divine guidance to come towards you intention with archangel michael there could be something about health coming out so maybe watch your guys health and things like this and then you have retreats okay so this person may want to come and retreat with you take you away somewhere ask you on a date possibility for union you know time to replenish they want to heal something we have all these sivens they want forgiveness okay so there we have it guys I hope you enjoyed this message, and if you did, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all the rest of it. I really enjoy reading them, and I will see you next time. Thank you. Bye.